So this is Felicita Norris. She is a painter and an MFA student here at Stanford University. Um, and we're here to talk about her work. So this work is called Not White Enough, if I'm correct. And I've also seen other works, like I just found out I'm white. Yeah, I just found out I was white. So I was curious if a lot of your work has to do with race, um, and if so, and maybe just in this piece, how it comes into play. Yeah, race has always been an issue for me. Mm -hmm. um, not because I wanted it to be, right. and not because I want to perpetuate this idea of you know these race you know race is this thing, even though it's a you know, socially constructed thing, mm -hmm. but it's just there, it's present because I'm a brown person, mm -hmm. you know, it's, and because of also, you know, and I, I'm actually not one race, I'm m multiple races. Right. Mm -hmm. um, uh, the, the whiteness factor has a lot more to do with personal things, and I think the work in general has a lot to do with personal right. things and identity, of course. Yes. Um, but it has, it's, it's mostly... Um, because of the type of people I'm attracted to. So if mm -hmm. I'm attracted to white males, I feel this inferiority to that particular race. Mm -hmm. And then I start to question my own race and not feeling white enough, like I'm not mm -hmm. white enough. Um, or I just found out I was white in that painting. It's like I'm at the bottom of the totem mm -hmm. and everybody's stepping on me because I just feel like, you know, maybe, maybe it makes no difference, you know? <laughs> it just yeah. it doesn't matter because you can't tell. Yeah. And it doesn't matter to society because they can't tell either. Yeah. And then there's these preconceived ideas about what I, who I should be or what I should be, and it's usually this. It's, it's mostly like a sexual thing. There's this yeah. sexual sexuality that is expected of me because I look Latina. I mean, my name is because mm -hmm. it's my one of my grandmothers was met from Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, but it's like, it's not my fault my name is Felicita, <laughs> you know what I mean? And <laughs> it's not my fault that I look brown, or look Mexican. Mm -hmm. um, I don't speak Spanish, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and so I actually was thinking about making paintings called Not Mexican Enough and Not Black Enough, because my mom's black. Uh -huh. um, but there's also Native American on both sides, and then there's also white, very small, you know, percentage of white, um, mm -hmm. Anglo, European, mm -hmm. in our blood. and. I think it's really just interesting and it always makes me feel like a little bit of an outcast, yeah. um, an outsider. Mm -hmm. So yeah, the work is, is talking about that a lot and it's actually going more in that direction. Whether it's, uh, whether it's like deliberately seen or not, I mean the title is giving that away. I don't know mm -hmm. if people pick up on the race aspect of it. Maybe really a keen eye will pick up on the brown yeah. skin there, just that little sliver that is mm -hmm. also synonymous with the, the brown wood and things like that and yeah. maybe this even looks like a, a little bit of a hood you know and that wasn't intentional these are all just kind of things that happened in the photo shoot that mm -hmm. I that I liked after I saw the photo I and wanted to see <laughs> as a photographer like, my favorite thing is always finding those little quirks in the work after you've already taken the that's picture. amazing it's, it's so, it's <laughs> so I love magical. that comes through in your paintings yeah. too so do you have any ideas or um, just Anything that you would say to someone who's starting as an artist? I mean, it's a gut feeling. You know when it's right, and yep. you you do it no matter what. Like, I've had so many people ask and tell me, just like, they want to give free advice, you know? Like, yeah. oh, it's going to be so hard to be an artist, you know? That's great that you're doing that, but it's going to be really hard. It's oh. like, do I really need that, you know? But you just yeah. keep going through that. Yeah. And even if you fail, like, there's a lot of failures in yeah. art you make a lot of mistakes, you spend a lot of money, yeah. um, and you just keep going anyway, and you make ends meet somehow because it's just, you know, it's ingrained in you, it's a passion, yeah. yeah. and you don't let anyone or anybody or anything, you know, really get you down. Yeah, some days you'll be like, you know, I don't want to be in the studio right now, I can't do this. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, at least, I'm speaking for myself, some people are just like, well, I need to go to the studio because I feel like shit, but sometimes I'm like, I don't want to be in the studio because I feel like shit, you know? Right. I don't know if that's going to be productive. And sometimes I do. I do the opposite. I'll just go to the studio and then I end up feeling better. Mm -hmm. um, but so I just think that the biggest piece of advice is just keep pressing forward if this is what you really want to do. And don't think about, 
if you think too much about where is the money going to come from or how much did I spend on this or that, I mean, then it can really become a hindrance. And I think that's the biggest part, especially in Silicon Valley, like, oh, why are you becoming an artist? It's, there's nothing for you. And it's just like, well, you know, you roll with the punches and you, you do it. And if you're good at it, if you're diligent even, you don't even really have to be good at it. I think yeah. it's just the, you know, that drive. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Is the biggest, mm -hmm. the biggest piece of advice I can say is just, just keep doing what you love. Wow. And, and, and you get there. Because that's all I've done. I mean, I feel like it's been a magical experience and everything's kind of been kind of handed to me. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I haven't worked that hard to get it. But I mean, the painting is work. Yeah. The, you know, the work Absolutely. is there. But it's just like that becomes, that's so natural for me. And it should be natural to a natural artist. You yeah. Know? And so, and it doesn't feel like work because it's what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that goes with anything, not yeah. just art. But yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome.